Hi, Facebook. How are you? It's Dr. Emily, functional podiatrist. I'm here to talk to you about a webinar that I am doing with Dr. Courtney Conley of A Gate Happens. We are doing this through the month of February. It's going to be a four part series. A total duration of this webinar is going to be eight hours of powerful content that you will be able to access forever. Price for this webinar series is only $200. And again, that is for eight hours of content. What we're doing is we're taking a look at the chronic foot. These are going to be patients or clients that are not responding to the physical therapy or the corrective exercise that you are doing with them. You're a little bit frustrated and you're not understanding where does potentially this clinical understanding meet that functional understanding that you have. So I'm going to go over some of the key topics that we're going to go over to maybe entice you to sign up. So here we go. If you're looking to learn more about plantar fascial tears and what's the difference between plantar fasciitis and plantar fasciosis. If you're wanting to look more, learn more about sinus tarsi syndrome and how does that tie into maybe post-tip tendon dysfunction or the rigid or flexible flat foot. We have cuboid syndrome and the supportive structures around lateral foot pain or lateral column pain. We have snapping perineals. What does this mean? How do you correct them? And how is that associated with ankle sprains? We have osteoporosis chondral defects or these cartilage defects in the ankle joints. Oftentimes these can be status post ankle sprains as well. We want to know how to address those. Mucoid degeneration in the Achilles tendon. What does it mean and how do we address that from that functional perspective or can we even address that? We're looking at split tears of the post-tib tendon and how does that correlate to our foot strength and our medial arch strength. We have tarsal tunnel syndrome. How is that different? Maybe from a Baxter's nerve entrapment and how is that different than plantar fasciitis and plantar fasciosis? We're going to go into top of foot pain. What does this mean? Is it really too much too soon or does it actually signify anything different? We want to go into stress fractures. How are met neck stress fractures different than met base stress fractures? And how is that important to you, the movement specialist, in creating programming? We want to take a look at the forefoot and where we're going to look at crossover second deformity. What does that mean? How does that correlate to bunions, the severity of bunions and plantar plate tears of the second? We're going to be taking a look at intermetatarsal bursitis and how this is different, maybe similar to Morton's neuroma or intermetatarsal neuromas. And is there really other neuromas from a Morton's neuroma? Sneak peek, there are. And then we're finally going to be looking at some of the different hammer toes and what's going on with that fifth digit and why it's always rotating under in what's called a varus fifth digit. If you're curious to learn more about any of these topics or many more that we're going over in this eight hour training, then do not hesitate to sign up. There's going to be a link in this video as well as on the EBFA website. If you go to ebfaglobal.com. Again, I hope you will join myself, Dr. Emily Splickle with Dr. Courtney Conley of Gate Happens. These are going to be recorded. You don't need to tune in live. You will have access to these videos forever. I hope to see you online. Take care and stay barefoot strong.